Hey everyone, welcome back to the Joe Rogan Experience. We're back on the Ebb on Hawk again. I mean, I honestly wish I was anywhere else. We're still on course for some planet in the unknown regions where there may or may not be world-eating Sith monsters. So yes, there's that. Joe, there's more to our journey than facing unknown threats. In the unknown regions, we seek Revan, one of the greatest warriors and leaders I've known. I guess that makes me feel a little better. Um, welcome Mandalore the Preserver to the show. It's an honor to have you here. You're a Mandalorian, uh, which I understand is like hell's angels in space. I have no clue what that means. Well, Mandalorians have this reputation, warriors, mercenaries. Which, what drives a Mandalorian to live this way? It's not just about being a warrior, Joe. It's about living with purpose, with honor. We Mandalorians believe in testing ourselves, pushing our limits to find our true strength. It's not merely about combat. It's about understanding the essence of who we are. See, when you say that it makes sense, but I mean, I've heard some stuff about how your people committed genocide uh, on Cathar. These claims were never proven. Well, maybe so, but there were also the nuclear um, missiles you launched at, at Saraco. The Republic dishonored us that day. There is no mercy for those who fight with dishonor. I mean, sure, but... Um, Maybe we're getting off topic here. You said we were going to find some guy named um, Revan. Who is this guy? Revan is unlike any leader you've known, Joe. He fought in the Mandalorian Wars, led the Republic to victory, and then, well, he became something else. He understood the Mandalorians, our culture, our need for challenge and battle. But he also saw the bigger picture, something most can't. Bigger picture like what? Revan perceived the flaws in the Jedi and Sith the narrowness of their views. He sought balance, understanding of the Force in a way few ever have. When our crew destroyed the Star Forge, Revan left in search of something in the unknown regions. He said that my people had been tricked, that it was never our decision to wage war on the Republic. So you were manipulated by who? That, Joe, is the question that drives us. Revan left known space for a reason. We believe he sensed a greater threat to the galaxy. What we find could change everything we know about the Force, the Republic, even the nature of the war itself. And what about you personally? What do you hope to gain from this journey? For me, it's about honor and redemption. The Mandalorians have been feared and misunderstood. By following Revan, I hope to restore honor to our people and find a new purpose for the Mandalorian way. And truth be told, the potential to reunite with an old friend excites me. Well, Mandalore, it's been eye-opening talking to you. Thank you, Joe. It's a journey that I believe will change not just us, but perhaps the fate of the galaxy. And maybe, when we find Revan, you'll have a chance to talk to him yourself. Now that would be a podcast for the ages. Thanks for being here, Mandalore. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, be sure to let me know in the comments who you'd like to see me interview next. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button and drop a like. We recently hit 1,500 subscribers, and I would love to see our channel get to 2,000. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.